Hi Mini Masters. This is a video on how to make a bleeding tissue craft. It's just a little bit of a messy craft, but it's fun. So what you need is a shallow dish or a tray. You need a, some quilted paper towels. You need a, white, a water droplet or a pipette, or you can use a spray bottle. You also need some markers. So we're gonna use some washable markers. This is key, they do need to be washable markers, but then also a permanent marker that does not bleed um, or it will, will not bleed when there's water that's put onto it. So for the first one, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do it a couple times just so you can kind of see how to do it. So we would take our paper towels, and have this one off to the side here, take our paper towel, and we're gonna fold it into just little squares. So you can cut it or or just fold it and do part of it. But what you wanna do is you wanna draw a design on the very top part of your paper towel. And it could be any design. I'm gonna do something really simple to, to show you what I mean. So it can be any design and you wanna make sure that you go slow enough. You want this to bleed through this paper, through the top layer of this paper towel. So I'm going to make a simple triangle. So this is probably a time where you need to have a grown-up help. It's a little bit um, not difficult, but you don't want to go too hard on the paper towel and rip it. But we also want to make sure you go slow enough um, and that you it'll bleed through. So you can see that I went over it a few times so that it bled through. So then what I'm going to do is if you want to, you can just trace over what you did so you can see what you're doing. So for this one, so now this is our top part here. So when you open it up, this is the one that you want to color. So you take any colors that you want and color inside of your lines. So I'm just going to make, just going to color kind of fun, fun colors. Anything that you want, any color combinations. Fun to do like a rainbow, you could do the rainbows. So what you would do is you do a rainbow on top here and draw it again down here and then color this part right here because you want the top part, you want this part to be blank. We're not coloring that part, we're only coloring this bottom one here. So this is the one where you're gonna need some washable markers. And careful that you don't rip the paper towel. All right, and this one, so there's a couple different ways that you can do this in order to make our, when you put this back over, you can kind of see it, but we wanna make our colors appear on the top paper towel. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. One way is you could actually submerge this whole thing in a shallow dish of water. That's obviously the most messy way and the colors will actually bleed all over. It'll bleed outside of this. Um, or you can use a spray bottle and just spritz some water on it and watch it soak up. I like to use a pipette, um, and that, cause that's another way that you can see it as well. You take your water pipette, get some water inside of it, and then start just dropping. You can almost, it's almost like a magic wand. You can touch it to your paper towel, and then it draws up all of your colors from below. So you can touch it to the colors like that again. So all your colors start popping up. Do you see that? And if you go outside of the line, then the color is going to bleed outside of there. Can you kind of see a little bit? So this is why if you were to color outside of your line down here, it would bleed all the way. But sometimes that's kind of a cool look too. So let's try it. So this is the pipette way. You can kind of see it's coming out this way. But I tried to stay in my lines there. So that's the way with a little pipette. So let's try it another way. And wipe up our mess here. Okay. For this one, I have a heart. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to pour this on here. And you want to make sure you have a tray that's flat. Mine has a little dip in it, so it might not work as well. But then you lay it on top of the water, like that. Now the more water you have, the more it will soak in. Okay. 
There it goes. You see now it's starting to go, as it soaks up all that, all that water, then it reveals your color below. So it's a little bit easier if you have a tray that's, that's flat, but that is another way to do it. And then you just wipe it up and move on to the next one. So I'm gonna show you, let's, let's see about this way with a squirt bottle. That's another way to do it. And you can see the color starting to bleed through. So that's another way that you can reveal your colors. So there you go. There's three different ways that you can make a magical uh, bleeding tissue picture with some markers, paper towels, and a little bit of water. Thanks guys.